I have a roommate, anyone? Where are my roommates at? Roommate Nation. I live with an 82-year-old Asian American woman, Carol Wong, do you guys know her? She's an old lady in Glendale, California. It's true, I live with this old lady. I found her on Craigslist. She uh, takes in soldiers with post-traumatic stress disorder, but I showed her a tape and she was like, okay. You can stay too, you and the soldiers. The soldiers moved out though, so now it's just like me and Carol being roommates. It's really weird to live with an 82-year-old woman that is not your grandmother. I don't love her. She doesn't love me, we're just roommates. We've roommate issues. And it feels ridiculous to go into a room like, Carol, maybe I'm crazy, but are there three or four puddings left in this snack pack? <laughs> Do you have a pudding, Carol? Do you have a pudding, Carol? I'm not made of pudding, Carol, you gotta ask. It's a 50-50 thing we're doing. I run errands with her, she lets me stay there for free, that's like the deal. Some of the errands are bad, but some of them are great. We got our feet massaged last week for an hour, which is too long, but what a problem to have. <laughs> My foot massage is too long. I'll live that life, I will. I'm never moving out. You guys drink? So does she. she uh, she's a drinker. I make her a cocktail every night. It's called the Carol. It's two quarters scotch, and then you mix in Another two-quarter scotch, a full glass of scotch <laughs> that she drinks every night before Blue Blood with Tom Selleck at six. Good show, better show than I wanted to admit. I didn't want to like Blue Blood, but Carol got me into it. I come from a broken home. My dad divorced his fifth wife two months ago. Yeah, it's really ripped the family to shreds. <laughs> Joanne won't be around anymore, no! <laughs> Who's gonna tan in the backyard sometimes, Dad? Are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? Joanne, useless human being. There's a reason you're fifth, right? No medal for fifth. There's no medal for fourth and Doreen was chill. She was cool. My fourth mom, Doreen. She gave me a brother for four years, Doreen. That's crazy, I had a brother for four years. Now he's just some guy named Matt that lives wherever. I don't even know if he's alive. That's why I wanna get famous, to find my baby brother, Matthew. Matt, if you're somehow watching this, find me on social media. I forgot your last name. I don't know. When you're young, you think it's yours, but it's not yours. They have a different one. McDonald's all day breakfast and anal sex were the same to me. Like wanted it, got it. I'm, I'm good, I don't want that anymore. It was gross. A McMuffin in the afternoon was gross. I always knew it would be, but I still wanted to try it like my whole life. That's a perfect analogy. Whether you're eating a McMuffin in the afternoon or having anal sex, if your eye catches a mirror during either of those activities, oh, you're staring at a stranger. That's, that's not you in that mirror. That's someone else. You guys like impressions? Yeah. All right. I'll uh, get out of here on this. This is an impression you can do at home. Anyone can do it. This is a, uh, is a former Broadway theater play director that now manages a Red Lobster in Irvine, California. <laughs> So used to be big time Broadway theater play director, super big in the business, you know, big productions. The recession happened or something and uh, moved to Irvine, tried to start an app, yikes. You know, didn't work, someone else had the idea first. And he, uh, the best job he could find after that was managing a Red Lobster. Former Broadway theater play director, now manager of a Red Lobster. Let's see what we can do. Placemats, everyone! Okay, so that's, uh, that's my time. Thank you guys very much.